Equalization, or EQ, was developed to solve problems and allow artistic control of music recordings. Over time, EQ has become one of the most important tools available to a sound engineer. Mixbus provides a full suite of EQs for each stage in the recording, mixing, and mastering stages of production. EQ can be used to fix problems. For example, sublow energy in a mix can eat up our valuable dynamic range. A high-pass filter is often used to remove this unneeded low energy that is typically caused by wind noise, rumble transmitted through the floor, or mic handling noises. Every input channel in Mixbus provides an adjustable high-pass filter, which can be used to roll off everything below the selected frequency. This is a fairly steep second-order filter based on the same filters in our 32C and MR series consoles. Note that when we turn the knob, the EQ section automatically engages. Double-clicking the filter knob will return it to its default setting of 20 Hz. Filtering also has an artistic purpose. Using a filter to remove unneeded low end from other instruments makes the real bass instruments sound cleaner and hit harder. The typical mix bus session will have a lot of filters engaged. You've probably heard that EQ is used to carve out a space for each instrument. For many years, engineers were mixing in mono. EQ was needed to separate instruments so they could be recognized among other instruments in the mix. When engineers began mixing in stereo, Panning helped instruments to stand out without needing as much carving EQ. Experienced engineers began to use EQ in conjunction with panning. This helped better place their instruments in the sound field. Every input channel in Mixbus provides a three-band, semi-parametric equalizer with sweepable frequencies for the purposes of carving your tracks into your mix. These EQs are based on our 32 and MR series consoles. The upper row of knobs allows you to boost and cut by 15 dB. Harrison consoles were known for their very wide boost and cut range, and this feature has been carried into the digital version of our consoles. The lower row of knobs allows you to change the frequency of the band. The low band sweeps from 40 Hz to 400 Hz, and the high band sweeps from 800 Hz to 15 kHz. The upper and lower bands are shelving, and the mid band is a proportional Q bell shape. This means that it's very wide and gentle when you turn it slightly, but it becomes sharper as you boost or cut it more. This matches the operation of the original analog circuits, and it serves a useful purpose when working on a track. A slight dip is perfect for making space for other instruments, while a sharp boost can help you find a problem frequency and notch it out of existence by turning the gain down. To use the EQs in Mixbus, move your cursor over the knob you'd like to adjust and move your mouse wheel up and down. If you'd like to make smaller adjustments, hold control while you click and drag a knob. If you made an adjustment you don't like, simply double click the knob to return it to its default value. The knobs in Mixbus will appear dull when nulled. This helps us to see which knobs have been tweaked in a session. The combination of a low frequency EQ and high pass filter can clean up sub low energy while boosting mid bass. I like to use this technique with my bass guitars. Here is a visual representation of the frequency response of my kick drum and bass guitar. There's a lot of mud in the low end where these two instruments overlap. I can high pass my bass above the low end thump of the kick drum and accentuate the frequencies just over the filter. This creates a nice little low end bump for my bass guitar so it doesn't sound thin even though I filtered the bottom end off. Mixing requires a combination of engineering and artistic tasks, and the track EQs in Mixbus are designed to meet your needs. The high pass filter cleans out unneeded low frequencies so your bass instruments can stand out clearly. The low and high shelving EQs provide a way to boost or cut treble or bass frequencies over a wide or narrow range. And the midband EQ provides the ability to accentuate an instrument's character or notch out an unwanted tone. When your tracks are filtered and EQ'd properly, they stand out clearly and there's less need for compression. This makes a better and more natural sounding mix. Now that we've carved space out for individual instruments, the next stage is balancing the tone of instrument groups. If you've grouped your instruments together into the eight mix buses, you have a perfect opportunity to set the overall tone control here. Note that the groups are also the tape saturation stage and this is where a traditional recording studio would have additional EQ to accommodate the playback from tape. Mixbus sets the stage with a broad three-band tone control on each of the Mixbuses. The Mixbus EQs have a different purpose than the carving EQs on the inputs. They boost and cut less than the input EQs, but have a wider frequency range. 
These are good for the broad tone controls that help fit instruments more neatly into your mix. For instance, if I have a mix bus for my acoustic guitars and a mix bus for my electric guitars, I can add a little mids to one and take away from another to help them fit together just a little better. The mix bus EQs can also help with plugins. Because reverbs and other time effects are often loaded into the mix bus strips, the built in EQs are a great place to balance the low, mid, and high range of your reverb returns without having to open the reverb plugin window. Finally, as the mix comes together, you might find that the instruments are clearly separated, but the overall tone needs a little tweaking. For example, you may find yourself with too much low mid energy because there are so many instruments in this range. For this purpose, you'll find a three band tone control on the master bus. The master EQ range is only plus or minus 6 dB, giving you very fine control at the end of your mix, and the frequencies are preset to ranges that often need tweaking at this stage. The multiple stages of EQ, saturation, compression, and limiting are what created the sound of records that have stood the test of time. By providing these stages in this configuration, Mixbus helps you achieve the sound you are looking for. Of course, when you need something specific, you can add EQ plugins at any stage of the mixer. But for 99% of mixing tasks, you will find that the Mixbus EQs provide what you need right under your fingertips. Simply put, we know how to make a great sounding EQ. We've been doing it since 1975.